Welcome back everyone. This is Coaster Daddy with another review and this is one I'm really excited to talk about. Copperhead Strike, the new for 2019 mock multi-launch coaster at Carowinds. Stay tuned. Copperhead Strike is the first major thrilling mock coaster to open in the Cedar Fair chain and the first mock multi-launch in the United States. Upon announcement, it was met with lots of anticipation, also some skepticism about its layout and the intensity. Copperhead Strike is very much a thrilling family coaster, so it appeals to a wide audience and it's not a very intense ride but it's also very thrilling and has lots of really exciting elements and whippy transitions, turns, inversions, all kinds of awesome stuff. And the theming on this ride is excellent. Cedar Fair has really been kicking it up with their theming. It's nothing super immersive on the level of like, say, Universal or Disney, obviously, or even a Busch Gardens Park, but it's very well done and very well presented. And they try to lay out a story some of the story on this ride is pretty unclear, but the theming itself is all very well done, and it's just a really nicely presented ride. So you walk into the new Blue Ridge Junction area of Carowinds. This, of course, is the centerpiece of that area. You walk through this really long queue line through all these switchbacks. You do get to see all this excellent theming, so it's not too bad. You get into the station, and you board these super comfortable mock trains that feature only lap bars. And these are some of the most comfortable trains I've been on, no doubt about it. There are three trains with four cars each, and riders sit two across and two rows on each car for 16 riders per train. The capacity is pretty good on this ride and the crews really keep those trains moving. The dispatches on this were really, really fast, very impressive. The staff at Carowinds did an amazing job on this ride, so shout out to them. They were dispatching trains like crazy on this. I was at Carowinds for about a day and a half, and I never waited more than 20 minutes for this ride. Copperhead Strike is 3,255 feet long, reaches a max height of 82 feet, a top speed of 50 miles per hour, and features five inversions. It's a pretty good length ride, and obviously the stats are nothing to shout about, and that's okay because this ride is not meant to focus on really intense thrills, but what it does, it does extremely well. It has that very unique heartline roll going straight out of the station, also called a JoJo roll, and wow, this, this is really incredible. There's only one other JoJo roll out there, which is on Hydra at Dorney Park, but I imagine this one is much better with just the lap bars. You, you feel like you're going to fall out of those trains, and it's just an amazing experience. You roll through it so slow, and you're, you feel like you're just slipping out of the car. Great, great, great hang time there. You take a turn, and then you hit the shed, which has a bit of theming, and you see Granny and a few other things thrown in there. It, it's pretty cool. Nothing super immersive, but it, it's very nicely done. You hit this launch on Copperhead Strike, the first launch, and obviously it, it's nothing too crazy. Then you go through this first vertical loop, which has really good hang time. You go over a nice airtime hop. Through a corkscrew, you hit a right-hand turn. Go through another bank turn there. Over another good airtime hill. And then you have the second launch, which actually goes over an airtime hill. You don't really get any airtime over it, but then you go into this double up into this top hat element, which has pretty good hang time. You go through the second vertical loop. doesn't have as good hang time as the first vertical loop does, but it's still pretty good. And then from here on out, you're just going through a lot of really quick twists and turns and just going in every direction imaginable. You get really low to the ground here. And this is a really fun part of the ride. You actually go through it pretty fast. You go through a really nice airtime moment there on that bunny hop, and then you hit the final brakes. As you can see, Copperhead Strike is a pretty decently long ride. It's definitely not short. It has good length to it, good ride time, and it has pretty good pacing with the two launches. The launches are nothing crazy like on the Intamin coasters, whereas on Intamin coasters, you have these launches that seem like they're meant to be these really exciting elements where as on mock coasters they're just more to serve the purpose of getting the train up to speed to go through the elements 
Some of my favorite parts of Copperhead Strike were the two vertical loops, the top hat, the JoJo roll. Those are just all incredible elements that provide really good hang time, especially the first vertical loop and the JoJo roll, of course. The first vertical loop that you go through after that first launch has really good hang time. The second vertical loop has pretty good hang time too, not quite as good as the first one. With five inversions, there's, there's quite a few inversions on this ride, but none of them are super intense or whippy, but the hang time is what really makes them. That's what really makes this ride thrilling, and I just can't praise it enough. I was really impressed with Copperhead Strike, as you can probably tell at this point. I went into this ride with pretty tempered expectations. I didn't have them set very high. I was thinking, okay, this is going to be a really fun ride. I figured it'd be pretty enjoyable, you know, with some good theming to go along with it. But I got off the first ride, and I rode it about six more times after that while I was at Carowinds, and every time, I just had a blast on this ride. It's just super fun. I think it's a great top-notch ride, honestly, for Carowinds especially. And this really helps to round out their lineup. Because at Carowinds, in my opinion, they have four really strong coasters. After that, they have a couple that are pretty mediocre and passable. And then after that, it's pretty much just one-and-done rides. So this is a really good coaster to help round out Carowinds' lineup. I think it's great for them, and I cannot wait to see what Carowinds has in store for the future. So for my final score, I'm going to give Copperhead Strike an 8 out of 10. I was very impressed with this ride, and out of the 80 coasters I've ridden so far, this actually falls right into my top 15, and I actually like this quite a bit more than Intimidator at the same park, which might be a bit controversial, but this ride is just an absolute blast, really unique and I think everyone's going to have a great time on this. So you're thinking about going to Carowinds, make sure you do not skip out on this ride. Thank you guys so much for watching this review. Be sure to subscribe for more content in the very near future. Be sure to like and comment on this video. Let me know what you think about Copperhead Strike. And be sure to like Coaster Daddy on Facebook and follow me at Coaster Daddy Official on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Coaster Daddy. Bye.